I'm going to draw two vectors. I'll call this one vector V and another vector. I'm going to point this one in this direction, vector U. And if I want to add vector V plus vector U, what I would do is I can take V, I'm going to redraw V, you can pretend this is perfect, perfectly equal to V. And then I'm going to take U and draw U, but I'm going to put the tail of U on the tip of V. And the addition of the two vectors would be the vector that goes from the initial point of V to the terminal point of U. So what I put in red would be V plus U. That's called the triangle rule. I could also add vectors by doing what's called the parallelogram rules. Let me write up here. In fact, let me kind of split this paper up a little bit. Here's the two vectors I was using to work the problem. Here's my addition using the triangle rule. Here's the addition using the parallelogram rule. So for the parallelogram rule, I'll redraw V. Again, same vector, same length, same direction. There's V. For the parallelogram rule, I'm going to take U and put, put the two tails together. So put the two initial points. I'll draw U, but with the initial point of U on the initial point of V. And then from here, I'm going to sketch in a parallelogram. So I got to draw parallel to V. I need to draw parallel to U. And then the addition of the two vectors, u, v plus u, is going to be the diagonal. It's a vector, but it'll be the diagonal that goes from the tip, from the, from where they, the initial point to the other side. V plus u. So there's adding vectors geometrically. If I'm going to multiply a vector by a scalar, 